Okay. Been a while. I think about a month. 28th of last month. Just saw something on the uh, computer. It uh, got me riled up. So, uh, wind's blowing. In fact, uh, I better find very quiet. Nope. You can hear the wind blowing. Wind is howling. I mowed today. Uh, everything seems to be pretty well straight here at Seagull South. Uh, I will say that uh, here in the you not know, too uh, distant past, I've had a little uh, heart palpitations. They beat along three, four beats, and then skip a beat, and then uh, sometimes it beat along in. Uh, uh, 20, 30 beats and then flutter. Uh, needless to say, this is very disconcerting. It has a uh, has a doing a, has a habit of doing this towards the end of my dialysis sessions, and uh, my dialysis is known to be hard on the heart. So, day after tomorrow, I'm going to a cardiac specialist down in Waco. I'm hoping it's just a pill or something, you know, steady old uh, a hummingbird out here. Of course, I'll be 76 here in about uh, 45 days. So, it uh, seems logical that, uh, you know, things are going to start fluttering and shuddering, but uh, other than that, I'm doing well. I have been observing and... Uh, kind of uh, have had a uh, little input on the web about the uh, proposed uh, Republican uh, budget, fiscal budget that they've submitted for this upcoming year. Two things that uh, they want to do that as far as I'm concerned uh, Democrats can run a baboon and I will still vote Democrat. Now there are things out there in the world that the Republicans stand for, conservative stuff that uh, I, I tend to be conservative about. I'm not sure that I'm all that nuts about uh, legalized abortion. I'm kind of ambivalent about it. But uh, when I hear their side of it, you know, I say, that's pretty good. But in their new uh, budget, they want to turn Medicare into a voucher system. And they want to put Social Security, privatize it, and more or less put it in the stock market. And this will not fly. Now, I'm very self-centered about this. I'm a dialysis patient. And Medicare takes care of the large, the majority of my dialysis care. I do have supplemental insurance. Uh, but uh, dialysis is very expensive. Something on the order of uh, 10000 a week. That runs up in a hurry. And I understand that uh, this is a real burden. But without it, I would die. And I just can't fancy myself going down to my local Fresenius dialysis center with a voucher because I, 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 I'm running on the assumption that uh, this is a cost uh, saving measure and that they would offer them Fresenius less than they're presently paying them. Scares me to death. Uh, I mean I worked I, I have put into Social Security and all your government programs since 1948, maybe 49. But I was a paper boy, and in those days they took out, you know, everything. It wasn't a lot, but it was there. And, uh, let's see, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98, 08. That's 60 years actually 67 years so I don't know where I get off thinking that I got it coming 
and uh, I think I do. I mean, the other old farts out there. Got to be a lot of old farts. Because uh, I am I preclude the baby boom. I was born 39. Baby boom didn't start till about 48. Almost. I, I'm 10 years older than him. And I know that uh, the officially conservative people are running scared thinking the whole country's going to go to hell in a handbasket because all these, uh, you know, boomers are coming on board. But uh, like anybody else, I think I've got a special case. I need my dialysis. I'd be dead in about a month if I didn't get it. So, if uh, you uh, have a uh, connection with your representative, your fiscal, you know, your uh, congressional representatives, call them on the phone and say, don't do that. That is not right. That is draconian. I mean, they're, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're thinking about. I mean, I know what they're thinking about, but uh, we've been having, uh, past 30 years, starting with Reagan, uh, you know, they've been banging away. I remember, uh, when Reagan was in office, I worked at the post office. I went to, I went to work at the post office in 1967. And I worked till 2003. And when Reagan came in office, uh, there, there was the retirement system for the post, uh, postal workers, was called civil service retirement. And I, and I had been paying into it. And Reagan came up with this uh, bright idea uh, to have another program where the employees put their own money in, which we did anyway. They, they deducted it out of our chest and then the, or out of our check in the uh, post office. Uh, supplemented it, and it was a, it's a good pension. I have it. I'm one of the last people to come out of the post office with a civil service retirement. But anyway, they called it FERS, and uh, they ballyhooed that thing just, oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And we had a sweet lady, and I'm going to use her name. I hope she's uh, I hope she's not out there watching me, because I hate to be uh, carrying tales. But Eloise Lewis was our receptionist there in the post office. This was in the 80s, and here come FERS, the new wonder program. And she changed over. And uh, I saw Eloise about 30 years ago. She was, we were in, I think, the uh, International House of Pancakes. And we got to talking. And we got talking about Eloise's retirement, and she started crying. And she said, for God's sakes, Richard, don't retire into poverty. And she told me that she hadn't changed to furs, and that all she was getting was $600 a month, which was essentially Social Security. So uh, this is the general mindset of the conservatives, uh, you know. If you haven't gone out and made yourself a few million dollars and, uh, you know, you can take care of yourself, well, just go screw yourself. You know, hey, uh, we need the money for other things, which <laughs> in mindset, usually it's, uh, you know, <laughs> the rich getting richer. But anyway, the Republican budget is in there. It would, it, it, I, don't, I don't think it can, because Obama will veto it. And I don't think they have the votes to override his veto. But they now control both houses of Congress. If in 16 by some hook or crook, they could uh, get a presidency to where they had both houses of Congress and the presidency, then this would come to pass. So, uh, I implore you, uh, Think about your, uh, especially, you know, the largest percentage of the population now is just slightly younger than me. I'm not, you know, I'm getting really past my prime. But uh, most of the people that go vote are in my age group. And uh, why they would vote for Republicans so that they could do this to us is beyond me. 
But anyway, that's it. Republicans want to put Medicare into a voucher system, and they want to uh, put Social Security back uh, in a privatized situation, which is essentially in the stock market. Wouldn't that have been slick back in 08 when the stock market dropped about two-thirds? Yes, sir. <laughs> what happened to my retirement? You know. So anyway, uh, that's it. Hope everybody's had a good day. Uh, wish me luck with that uh, cardiac guy. I mean, I, everybody thinks, hey, I don't have a problem. But I got something going on. Cause the thing is fluttering and carrying on. Sometimes I uh, get pretty tired when it's fluttering, which I know is because it's not pumping right. I'm hoping he can give me a pill. I know they put pacemakers in, which, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do, you know. And and the uh, thing about that is I'm just getting old. And at some point it's gonna flutter and go poof. But it's not today or tomorrow, down the road. I will say this for the folks at Siegel North that watch it, uh, if uh, if it was fluttering like it was doing a week ago Wednesday, I could not drive to New York. I don't know how the heck I'd get up there. I guess I'd just have to ride beside the wife because we drive two cars so that I have one to go to dialysis with when we get up there. Could not do it. But that's probably not going to be the case. Anyway, I don't know what I did with my list of my top friends here. Just a second. Let me look. And uh, I always give greetings. To my buddies and I came ill prepared don't vote Republican uh, write your congressmen senators any of your representatives and say don't do that you will be out you'll be killing people anyway here's my buddy